In this video I'm going to show you how to defragment your hard drive using the free and open source tool called Ultra Defrag. Now we all know of the basic built-in uh, defragmenting tool, uh, the disk defragmenter in Microsoft, and its functionality is fairly basic. Um, but let's look at what Ultra Defrag can do. So we navigate to Ultra Defrag's website. It's ultradefrag.sourceforge.net. Sourceforge.net is an excellent source for open source programs. Uh, it's where most of the open source projects are based. Okay, so this is the Ultra Defrag website. Scroll down. I'm using 32-bit Windows XP Pro. So I'm going to click here and download the install file. It's very small. Just 373 kilobytes, not even a meg. Okay, so now I have this install file on my desktop and I'll double click it to install it. Go ahead and minimize the Windows built-in defrag tool. Okay, so Okay, it's licensed under the GNU GPL, which is an open source license, which is all good. Okay, here's where you get some options. Uh, I like to have the documentation for the handbook, just if you get stuck and want to learn how to do more advanced things with Ultra Defrag. Uh, the scheduler.net allows you to set up scheduled defragmentation scans. Uh, I don't like to do that. I don't think you need to defrag frequently enough most people don't to need a scheduler like this so I disable it. Note that you do need the .NET Framework 2.0 to use the scheduler most people have that but just a note. Uh, the portable ultra, de ultra defrag package might be handy for some people you can put it, uh, you can put it on a uh, USB flash drive and defrag computers through that, but I'm not going to be using that. Um, the context menu handler uh, would put Ultra Defrag in the right click uh, menu. Uh, I don't like to have clutter in that right click menu, so I don't want that. But everything else, I want the shortcuts on my desktop and in my start menu and I want the documentation and of course the core files so after I've done that you click next and then install it it's a very quick install puts the icon on my desktop so I'll double click it okay this is the graphical user interface for ultra defrag uh, as you can see just like in the regular windows disk defragmenter we'll show you can analyze and de or defragment, but Ultra Defrag has the option to compact, which moves all of your files to the front of a partition and then uh, defragments them if possible. And that enables for future better uh, defragmentations. So let's analyze this hard drive. The uh, boxes are color coded, directories, uh, the blues are uh, unfragmented files, which is what you want. Reds are fragmented, uh, this sort of darkish yellow are compressed, and this is the MFT zone, which is the purple. Okay, so if you click fragmented here, it makes a nice HTML report that you can view in your browser showing number of fragments and the files that are fragmented. Uh, so another thing that Ultra Defrag can do that the standard Windows Defragmenter cannot do is it can run a boot time scan. So 
what you do is enable the boot time scan. You can also edit the boot time script, but that is beyond the scope of this video, so you should just leave that at default. So check enable boot time scan, uh, and then close the settings window, and then we'll go ahead and close alter defrag. and then we will restart our computer and I'll show you what the boot time scan looks like As you can see, I'm running Windows XP in a virtual machine using VirtualBox. That's why I'm able to view uh, this startup screen. Okay, so this is the Ultra Defrag boot time scan screen. Uh, you can see the files that are included in the defrag and the file there are the folders that are excluded. Got a nice status bar that shows that it's analyzing, and then a status bar for defragging. It gives you a little report, and then it it loads back into Windows, just like normal. Okay, to keep. Um, now that boot time scan will stay checked in the settings so the next time your computer boots up go ahead and uncheck that to make sure it doesn't run every time unless you want it to run every time which is probably not needed but probably won't hurt anything either okay so um, my disk isn't very fragmented, so uh, I actually just ran a compact. As you can see, that most many files are concentrated at the beginning of the partition. Uh, this is a feature that you won't get from the standard Windows defrag tool. Um, when you're so, it's not really useful for me to run a full compact or defrag yet but try it out run a compact and uh, notice if your computer runs faster uh, it'll tip when you have more files uh, unfragmented and at the beginning of your pit partition your computer will run faster uh, so if you know of a better defrag program or uh, you wanna make a comment then uh, leave me a comment on this YouTube video or check out GaslampComputers.com.